Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Edgar TV 11 and welcome back to the Man United career mode. Now guys, I have got a lot to catch you up on in very little time. I'll start from the beginning. So when I started this career mode um, in episode 1, as you saw, um, I had the old squads and I couldn't quite figure out what was wrong. I tried to, you know, reinstall the, uh, you know, the, the latest uploads, I mean the latest downloads and all that. And it just wouldn't work, man. I would not get my new squads. Um, when it came in career mode, so I'd go into kickoff and it'd be fine, you know, McNair, Valdez, and all the, everyone would be there, but when it came to career mode, it just wouldn't happen. And it wasn't until I stumbled upon a video that showed you how to fix it, you had to delete a file, and then it's all good. Um, going back onto track, I recorded probably, oh look, I'm gonna be honest with you, quite a lot of the season, and um, you know, I've dropped this first episode and I've seen the, your, your reactions and a lot of you guys are excited and a lot of you guys want the latest squads, which is fair enough, man. So I'm going to give it to you guys. But the condition is I'm not going to tell you how I weren't in this first season until the end. So we can have a bit of fun of it. Uh, we can compare how it went, uh, what went wrong, but um, I'll break the season down for you. At the beginning, it was a struggle. Um, there was about five or six different formations that I wanted to play see how it all went and and throughout the season I, I stuck to about three of them that I actually did use and I have one favorite system um, that I will be using basically the entire career mode I'll show you that a little later and um, of course you have the problems of trying to make the new um the new signings that you made before um, some were a bit more expensive some were a little cheaper and then may it just got a little uh, crazy so guys look at your screens now um, you can see that we've got we've got Di Maria obviously from Madrid. Pogba cost me fifty one million pounds. In the last episode, I think he cost me thirty million. Fifty one million pounds. I had a way. I know I had a budget of fifty three. So I basically spent my entire budget on Pogba. But mate, like I said in the last episode, Pogba is worth probably double that in um you know real day. Uh, prices so to get him for 51 million is, is probably fair enough um, I then got on to Marquinhos uh, I still managed to sell Evans uh, although this time he went to Leicester so um, I had a bit of money there bought Marquinhos for how much was it 15 million uh, still roughly the same wages and he's been bumped up in stats so I'm really um, really happy with that went after Herman uh, we sold Ashley Young in the last career mode to Everton um, he has now gone to Bruce in München Gladbach and we've gotten Herman um, he's also got an, uh, a stat update. So, um, in the end, guys, we got there. We made the signings, and um, God damn, <laughs> we got to we got to start this journey all over again. But it's for you guys. I just hope that you guys can appreciate the effort that I'm going through here. And I've just, you know, bas I've deleted every single file I basically made on the last one, apart from a few, so I can show you exactly how we went. But mate, the good thing was I didn't um, edit. All those episodes I, I had about four e edited ready to drop but um you know i spent quite a few hours recording all of those episodes and um you know it's all gone now so um it's a fresh start guys and i'm hoping that you guys can just yeah appreciate um the, the length of work that i'm doing for you guys so um i'll actually just show you the new squad now now i'm sure you're all familiar with all the new uh upgrades that have been happening but you know i'll just go through with you um, real quick We've got De Gea up to 86, uh, Valencia is the same, Marquinhos I believe was 78 or 76, one of the two, but he's gone up to 80, so he's got a big boost man, and that's just awesome man. Uh, I've got Rojo, I still believe he's exactly the same, he might have gone up by one, Luke Shaw's the same, Patrick's gone up by two I believe, he was 76, so um, you know, that's pretty handy, that's already half the season's work there done for him, Herrera is the same, Pogba mate. To go up by one point in overall to cost me 51 million, my lord, you better be an absolute gun, mate. I'm telling you now, you better kill it. <laughs> uh, let's see, everyone else is still the same. Um, oh, yeah, uh, Adnan picked up a small injury. He uh, dislocated his shoulder in preseason, so um, he's copped a little bit there. Uh, Black is still with us. We haven't been able to learn him out as of yet. Uh, Fellaini is now a centre mid rather than a central defensive midfielder. So that's good because I play with centre mids. Falcao's dropped in overall. Uh, we've also got uh, Rothwell and Kellett into our squad. Van Persie's dropped a fair bit, mate. Um, this guy was world class. I still think he will be, but um, you know that does hurt a bit. Um, 
do like a bit of Van Persie. Nicky Powell's obviously with us. He's no longer at Leicester for some reason. Chris Smalling, just gone up by one. Uh, Raphael got a training injury, guys, during um, the preseason. He's going to be out for four weeks, so Valencia will have to slot into right back. Uh, Amos is still with us. Lindegaard is still with us. We've also got the new signing of Victor Valdez. Carrick is with us. Uh, and then we're just going through the low knees here. Nani is obviously at uh, Sporting Lisbon. Paddy McNair has gone to Rotherham. Uh, Cleverly is uh, Aston Villa, obviously. And uh, I'm just going to skim through these so you can all... Oh, Reese has got a nice bump there. I believe it was about 55, so good on you, mate. Uh, Varela is still the same, and everyone else is roughly the same, guys. So, I'm going to go into the teams and show you how we're going to line up, and I'll show you the three formations that we will be experimenting with. It's not so much of an experiment this time around, it's just about getting it right quicker. Alright, guys, so here we are with our uh, formation. So, this is the primary one that I use. It's a uh, 4 5 one, one, or, um, you know, whatever you want to call it, if you want to get number specific. But um, I found that I play better than one striker, man. It's just, it, it allows a striker just that whole room up top to move wherever he wants. And it's quite difficult for centre backs to track. And if you've got two strikers, you limit the space that they have. So I like Rooney up top by himself. Mata behind him is just brilliant, man. I mean, the stuff that this guy can do is tremendous. Um, he's in just about all of my uh, formations. And um, he's a real key component in this team. Uh, and how Di Maria, you can't go past him at left wing. Pogba and Herrera, I find, give me the best um, best of both worlds. You know, you've got the hard work grunt, but he has a skill to get forward of Pogba. He's just a very unique player, a more modern Yaya Toure. And then you've got the passing skill of Herrera. I mean, some of the through balls that this mofo was ripping throughout the season was just tremendous. And, um, you know, for the bigger games, so against Chelsea against Liverpool when I have to is a rule midfield big man comes in he just breaks them up and you really have a tough time being Pogba and Fellaini uh, we've got Herman out wide uh, to begin with in the season the spot was Valencia's but he dropped tremendously and um, right now we cu currently have Raphael out so he slots in at right back centre back man it's up for grabs really uh, Rojo was my probably most permanent fixture, but but then between Marquinhos, Jones, and Smalling, I could not find the perfect partner. So I'm just going to give it to Marquinhos off the default because he is the best centre back uh, statistically, uh, so to speak, right now. But uh, I did start off the season with Smalling and Rojo, and Shaw was just a uh, what a player this guy is. Chuck your comments in, man. Do you guys like Luke Shaw, man? Because he was probably my player this season. Um, so guys. I'm just going to uh, basically get into the game, man. We're up against Swansea, first game of the season. So, uh, yeah, chuck your comments in, guys. I know you guys are excited, man. It's a new start for me, a new start for you guys as well. So, um, man, there's a lot to be excited about. Let's get into it. All right, opening game of the season, guys. So, um, I've already showed you the standing lineup, but we'll just go over it again. Rooney up top, Mata behind him, Di Maria, Pogba, Herrera, Herman, uh, Valencia, Marquinhos, Rojo, Shaw, and De Gea. So, we're aiming for three points to start off the season, guys. What could be better, man? I mean, first win of the season is crucial, mate. If you can get an opening day win, you're in luck, mate. They can just set the tone of the season. And um, obviously, United lost the first game of the season. Um, no idea how, man. We are just poor that day, but we're aiming for a good start here, guys. All right, guys, so we have kickoff. Let's go, mate. Okay, Maria. Let's play. Good. Free ball. Herman. Ah. On the weak foot, man. Couldn't really get it around the post. Would have been a great start. First chance goes to us, guys. Let's go back into the middle. Herrera. Try to get it to Rooney. Rooney. Finesse. Ah. Didn't quite catch it like I wanted him to, but he's looking threatening. Taylor. Go. Let's go, Patrick. Great running, mate. Oh, look at the pace from Patrick. Look at this. We've got Mata. Bang. One Mata. 
Has to bury that, man. No question. At least get it on target, man. Get the keeper to save the thing. Ah. God damn it. Alright, guys. So, there's half time. There's not too much action going on right now. I feel like I'm playing with a new team again, man. Um, just failing to really click right now. So, um... Hmm. Tough times ahead, guys. Tough half. Just, um... I need to figure out how to attack again, man. I'm just blank right now. But we're defending well, man. So that's always a positive. Shelby. Good play here. Out wide on oh, no. Oliveira. Oh, great tackle. Oh, my God. Shelby. Oh my god, look how deep they're sitting. Put it in. Fuck you! Oh, foul cow. Smooth moves! Oh my lord. Let's go, let's go. Valencia. Oh, no one's there. Surely someone's in the spot. Yes, come on. Well, that was fucking dreadful. Guys, seriously, that is one of the worst games I have ever played. Don't mind this career mode. It's just awful, man. I mean, I couldn't get two passes going together. The player's turning was disgusting, man. I mean, you'd play the feet and... Oh, man. What a nightmare of a game. All right, second game, guys. Let's hope it's a better one. So, I changed two things. I put on my custom tactics the way I like them to play. And also, I've pushed Di Maria and Herman up just a little bit further. Maybe that'll help them in their positioning on the pitch. But other than that, guys, it's the exact same lineup. All right, second game, guys. We have kickoff. You know, just thinking about the last game, I think the only thing I did well was defend. I mean, they did not bother me in the slightest, but yeah, just um, not ideal in the way we started. So hopefully we can make it up now, guys. Right, let's slow it down. Sunderland coming with an attack. Jaccarini, who's been at the heart of everything for them right now. Oh, man. No. Okay, it's offside. I was going to say, there's no way he's by himself like that. Surely. Oh. Dude. We are playing that bad. I think it's worse than the last game. What's going on? I honestly want to sack myself right now. I don't know what's happening. I don't know if it's me, if it's the players, but man. <sighs> Wake up, honestly. Wake up. Here we go. Oh my... I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. I don't even want to play right now. Look! This is embarrassing, man. Absolutely embarrassing. I think it's Herrera, man. He's just. Not giving me the slightest bit of action. Pogba. Try some feet. Low cross. Ah, oh, blocked. Oh, come on, Rini. Hit up. Screw this, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to force it. If these guys are going to play like this, man. May the Lord look over us the entire season. Because this is embarrassing, mate. Just cannot believe this crap. Seriously, what we are serving up right now is relegation kind of shit. God damn it.
Here we go. Great ball. Yanazai! Yes! Come on! <sighs> Super sub, man. He literally just came on. I think that's a bit of bad keeping there, to be honest. Oh, it's gone through the legs of the keeper. Nah, it's been him near post. Even worse, dude. Manoni. No wonder you got sold. Yanazai gets our first goal of the career mode, guys. Well done, young man. No. Two centre backs. Look at this. The cross comes in. Marquinhos. Valencia. Jesus Christ. The one thing we were doing well was defending, and that's just gone to absolute crap now. My lord. Good play. Falcao. There we go, mate. Immediately. Come on. I'm not going to go down like that, man. That was bullcrap. The Falconator. What a sweet move, man. Lots of little one-touches, and look at that. Just around the corner, man. Manoni's got no chance. Falks. Long ball, come on. Good stuff. Need some support. So look, where was this before, man? Look how good we're playing. Come on, Pogs. Show some power. There we go. Back post. Oh, Manoni, you B. Okay. There we go. There we go. <sighs> Frustrating, but we got three points, guys. It's just... It, it's the journey, once again, man. We have to learn how to play. And, uh <laughs> It's rough, man. Because I was used to a certain standard, man. But, um... Man, it just does not come. That has not come easy. Alright guys, so uh, just a transfer offer here for Ben Amos. We're trying to offload him so he can go. Uh, an offer here for Chris Smalling from Sunderland, who we just played. No thank you, he's not going anywhere. And some wonderful news here guys, just before the Burnley game. Uh, Raphael has been declared fit, so uh, that's awesome. Alright guys, last game of the episode. Uh, let's go blue again. Seemed to do the trick. Um... Couple of changes, guys. So I brought in uh, Fellaini. Uh, excuse me. Uh, Herrera has just been a little disappointing going forward, man. He hasn't been doing exactly what I want him to do. So if we aren't creating anything, I'm at least going to dominate midfield, so I can at least start something through Pogba, through Di Maria, through Herman, or through Mata for that matter. So um, we'll see how that goes. Also, Jones shot me an email saying that he's a little worried. You know that email that comes in saying, you know, once a new centre back or a new player comes in. They get worried about their position. So we just need to reaffirm uh, Jones that he is a part of this new era and that he will be playing with us. But um, at this stage, guys, Di Maria's position is in danger. He's been awful. And has his Rooney, man. Um, he was a star for me last time around. But um, at this stage, you know, Falcao's done him, uh, himself a massive favor by scoring. So um, we'll see how we go, guys. But hopefully um, we can get the ball rolling and um, really kick on now. Good stuff. Fellaini, getting in Rooney, Pogba, bang, oh, I just dragged it, did not happen for him, hold on, got Di Maria, yes, great run, you gotta finish, you gotta finish, yes, Angel Di Maria, yes, well done man, great start guys, Exciting, man. Finally, was getting the ball rolling. We're playing well. And it's just uh, emotion coming out, man. Because those first two games, my lord. Awful. Not the best finish either, but um, it's a goal, mate. 
And there we go, guys. Half time. We're keeping Burnley pretty quiet. We've opened the scoring and we're winning, mate. That's the crucial bit right now. And um, it's just a matter of adding to the scoreboard and keep doing what we're doing. The rest will come. Go, Herman. Great run. Finish. There we have it, mate. The two wingers getting the job done, and that'll mean a lot to Herman, man. Brand new signing. First goal in the bank. Three points should be in the bank as well. That was quite a finish, man. Look at this. The first touch is great. Bang! Top left. And here we go, man. The wingers are starting to get involved, man. That's what I need. Just a team effort. Oh, let's go. Oh, yes. Here we go, Rooney. Surely you can outpace him. Can do. Can do. Oh, this is great. Go on, Herman. Get a double. He's got the pace. No questions. Got the pace. Oh, Mata. Oh, no. How much did a miss play? What a bad miss. Doesn't even show. That bad. And there we have it, guys. Another three points and a much better performance. A lot happier this time around. Although I would have liked um, another goal. Would have been nice, but um, just all round better, man. We've improved so much from the first game. I mean, that was a nightmare, but yeah, coming a long way. And um, seven points, mate. Not bad at all. Let's have a look at what else is going on. Alright guys, so I was going to leave the uh, transfer deadline day for the next uh, episode, but um, why not man, we're right here right now, and uh, we can go through the biggest deals right now, uh, Guerrero has gone to uh, uh, Madrid, sorry, I was going to say City, Pogba's uh, obviously joined us, 51 million mate, <sighs> and uh, Modric has uh, gone in the direction of Man City, so, you know, M Madrid gaining and losing at the same time, but overall, you know, quite a good deal there. And uh, some of the later stuff right there just happening. Uh, Zhigic, remember him? Seven foot monster. He's gone to Paderborn. Amos has gone to Bolton. And uh, let's just get this thing underway. So, first hour. Doesn't look like much is happening at all. Second hour. Nothing at all. 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 Third hour. Nothing at all. Oh, my God. There we go. Uh, oh, Leon Goretzka has gone to uh, Real Madrid. Great signing there. I doubt he'll play, but good signing. Uh, Nico Crancha has gone to Stuttgart, and I don't know and don't care who that man is. What a good signing. Diego Godin has joined Man City, guys. That will bolster them big time. Cavani has gone to uh, Bayern Munich. That's a big signing. We've been offered a uh, <laughs> no way. I love me some tall poodle. Yeah, so Diego Godin, that'll definitely um, bolster them, man. Big time, especially now it'll be company and Godin. That is a great pairing there. Let's see, any other shocks that might be happening? So far, no. Andreasen has gone to Cologne. Doesn't really affect us. Gel Moutinho moving to Atletico. That's a big move. Um, just before I leave, guys, we'll go over exactly what everyone's done. So we're all familiar. So Javier joined Arsenal. I hope you guys can forgive me for that. But um, yeah, he's just not going to feature for me. Uh, Carrillo and Coit have joined Aston Villa. Benteke leaving. That's massive. Um, Burnley is signing Adel Adelkovic. No idea who he is. Helander going to Chelsea. Uh, Fletcher. Maybe is that, is that Steven Fletcher that's gone there? That could be a good deal. Uh, Everton doing nothing. Guillermo signing for Hull. Uh, we sold Evans to Leicester. So got some good cash for him. Liverpool doing nothing. And the big move is here. Man City signing Modric, Godin. And get rid of Aguero. Um, also, we made a lot of moves there. As you can see, 72 million spent. Uh, Newcastle doing nothing. A uh, bunch of nobodies going to QPR. Southampton, Spurs, nothing. Raphael signing from Borussia Mönchengladbach to Stoke. So they've copped a bit of flack, Mönchengladbach. Yes, yeah, so there you go. Fletcher's left. Uh, Cahoon, no idea who he is. West Brom doing nothing. And West Ham doing nothing. 
Let's just have a look at the league table, guys. And just before I could even get to the league table, guys, Luke Shaw has broken his tailbone and will be out for four months. I was just saying how much I love this man. Now it's gone for four months. Great. All right, guys. So obviously it's extremely early in the season, but uh, this is how we are lining up right now. We are in fifth position. Uh, Chelsea and City probably making the best starts. I mean, um, you know, City and Spurs are still perfect, but uh, you know, they still have nine points on the board. Uh, West Brom, interestingly, up in fourth, and uh, you can see that uh, Arsenal have made a real slow start. Uh, Liverpool even slower, and uh, where's City? Oh, the City's up there. My bad. But uh, yeah, they. Pfft. Liverpool and Arsenal making terrible starts. So um, I guess that's good news for us. Anyways, guys, that's the end of a long episode for me personally. Just having to all do that again, play the games, and um, no doubt it's going to be a little longer editing. But it's all worth it, guys. I'm hoping that you're going to be um, you know, just liking this series and appreciative of everything that's gone on, all the hard work that happened. But, guys, on to the usual. Uh, drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed the episode. Leave a comment, man. Share some love. I'd love to know what you guys are thinking about this whole thing. Um, you know, the Chicharito situation. Uh, the Pogba for $51 million. Do you guys reckon he's worth the real deal? Is he worth that much? Um, what do you guys reckon of Herman and Marquinhos? I did want a bit of youth into the team. And that's um, really going to bolster it. And of course, um, the ultimate aim is to get Muller next season. So, um, you know, that, that's still in the works. But, um, you know, I think the squad's pretty good, guys. It's definitely good for our first season. And um, it'll take us a long way. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next one. I'm your man, Edgar TV 11 Take care.